So in this example, we have two components. We have the add component and the display component. So if we try to add data, click on add, and the data is added. We're using Angular um, to do this. In app module, we add the HTTP um, client module. In the app component, we have two components, uh, unit status add and unit status display. And what is really important here is the service. So here in unit status service, um, we have our fetch um, unit status and we also have our post unit um, unit status. We are using behavior subject, so any data that is added, we we push it into our um, behavior subject, and this is the get for um, for getting the uh, our unit status. Uh, data. So in unit status display, this is our this is our code. It's 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 really very simple. So on init, we get the uh, fetch unit statuses. This one, we are, which we just um, we subscribe no we subscribe and then whatever the value is we put it in our um, behavior subject and we need to do that because we want to uh, share data and what is important here is because we're using uh, observables we do two calls. No? We fetch the unit statuses and then after this we call um, our unit statuses to be um, to be displayed. So in the unit display um, we store this and then we we display it. Okay, so you have the item TID and item name. Okay, we're just using here a very simple uh, interface, a unit status with the ID and name. For uh, unit status add, this is our code. Again, very simple. And here you just uh, post whatever is being typed here in the in input box and then after posting we call again the uh, fetch unit statuses to update the data in our um, behavior subject again to make this very simple notice that um, our code our HTML is just here in the template. We are not even using template URL. We're just using template and then just hard coded this. And in the same goes for our unit status display. Also, um, the HTML code is just coded here. So it's um, it's very it's very straightforward. Okay, but um. Here we've demonstrated the use of observables um, in sh sharing data from our add to our display. And again, what is really important here is the service part. Okay, so after sub subscribing, here is very important the next to update our data. And for the back end of this, and I'm not really going to explain it, this is just the um, Java, I'm using Java Spring Boot. 
So in Java Spring Boot, I just have an entity called unit status, uh, which has the um, TID and, and name members, and then the controller. Since we're, I'm just coding in the in the same um, computer, so I have this cross origin localhost, and then the port that is running, which is 4200. Here is the get, and here is the post. I'm not using this yet um, for this example. It's just the get and the the post. And they are referring to our MySQL database, specifically um, this one. So here you have the unit status um, table, which contains the TID and the name columns. So that's it for the demonstration of Angular get and post using um, behavior subject. Thank you.